What is Euclid's division lemma? Before we understand this topic, let us chunk this word Euclid's division lemma. Euclid's. As we know, Euclid was a great mathematician. Division. Division means divide. And lemma. Lemma is a proven statement to prove another statement. Euclid's division lemma is also called as Euclid's division algorithm. To understand the difference between these two terms, we need to understand what is algorithm. Algorithm is a set of well-defined steps to do something. Euclid's division lemma is nothing but a restatement of long division method. Means the long division method, what we are using, it has a real statement which was given by Euclid. For example, 13 divided by 4. When we divide 13 by 4, we take the closest number that is 4 into 3, which is equal to 12. So here 3 is a quotient. So when we minus 13 by 12, we get 1. So 1 here is a reminder. Here we use the 4 table in such a way that it shouldn't be more than 13, where 4 is a divisor. 13 is a dividend, 3 is a quotient, and 1 is a reminder. This is how generally we used to divide. According to division rule, we used to write division is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. Here, division is equal to 13, divisor is 4, quotient is 3, and reminder is 1. When we have got the reminder to be 1, we had stopped the process. Now, why did we do this? Because one is lesser than four. Meaning, if the reminder becomes lesser than divisor, we stop the process of division. Now, let us consider one more example. Eight divided by 100. Now, eight here is a divisor and 100 is a dividend. Now, how do we divide this? Now, let us consider two digits of 100. That's 10. So, eight ones are eight. So now what happens is we get eight ones are eight. So which is again minus by 10, it becomes two and zero is carried down. So it is 20. Now what do we do here is so we again divide 20 by eight. So let's consider eight twos are is 16. So now if we minus 20 by 16, we get the reminder to be 4. 4 is lesser than 8. Hence, we stop the process. Because here, again, reminder is lesser than quotient. So here, 4 is a reminder, 8 is a divisor, 100 is a dividend, and 12 is a quotient. Now, according to division rule, how do we relate this? 100 is equal to 8 into 12 plus 4. Now let us consider one more example. That is 10 divided by 2. If we divide 10 by 2, 2 into 5. So 2 5s are is 10. So if we minus 10 by 10, we get the reminder has 0. So here 0 is again lesser than the 5, which is a quotient. So according to division rule, how do we write this? 10 is equal to 2 into 5 plus 0. Here, 0 is the reminder, 5 is the quotient, 10 is the dividend, and 2 is the divisor. So all in these examples, we have learned that sometimes the reminder becomes 0 and sometimes non-zero. One more important thing here to remember is always divisor is greater than the reminder. Reminder is lesser than the divisor. Now let us see how divide is associated with Euclid's division lemma. The official statement of Euclid's division lemma is for given integers a and b there exist unique integers q and r where r is equal or greater than 0 but less than b. Here a is equal to bq plus r where a is a dividend, b is a divisor, q is a quotient, and r is a reminder. For given pair of integers, r is always fixed. How? Let us consider these examples. 100 divided by 8 and 10 divided by 2. 
when we had done the division here how the remainder and quotients were fixed when we did 100 divided by 8 here the remainder was 0 and quotient was 12 similarly when we did 10 divided by 2 here the remainder was 0 and the quotient was 5 So in all these cases we observe that a and b are fixed similarly q and r are fixed therefore we can say that for the given pair of integers q and r are always fixed so now we can say that euclid's division lemma is a restatement of long division method so here euclid's division lemma is completed see you in the next video if you have liked this video do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these videos keep learning here in theorite we believe that every child is unique and to help you more with this we have come up with a free counseling session to help you succeed are you worried about scoring less marks in exams or are you worried about focus study hours consistency then all you need is a free counseling session from us to book a free counseling session with us all you need to do is type www.turight.com that's right turight.com and as you enter into the website you get a window where it is been written has free session you just need to enter your details and you're all set to go not only that Qright also helps you in public speaking communication and makes you unique and different from others. Register today to get started.